it's up, window spot. Oh. Just barely gets off before Steel can respond, and they're gonna bail, they're gonna run. And thankfully so, because Mo Rats around top mid, he walks directly into K and G. Shotgun does get a kill, but not by the man who bought it. Back over to B instead. Lucas has presumed this to be true based on the kill alone in apartments. He'll get there, but smoked off, and he's alone at least for now. And what's the call from Lucas? The call is the gap and the smoke. Good shot. Don't get back in. Better shot from Henny. Still on the pistol, but they follow up to take him down. And a ball played in a two versus two. Gambit just have to hold off. They won't waste much time grouping as Steel has the kit. KNG is there. They picked up a Galil to work with. 5 7 to lead the charge. It's too far away for the shotgun to be helpful. Take it back because he thinks otherwise. They'll go aggressive. No one peeking, so he'll take every inch he can get to make this an instant kill on the shotgun. Crossfire set. He's found. Steel trains it. Steel goes for more. It's done. Gambit have done it. After getting battered on Cobblestone, it looked like Gambit were not going to arrive in this grand final. But they showed us strength on the second map. And the third, that delivered. That's what a grand final should play out. Clutches all over the place, force buys working out. And they do it in three maps. What an epic third map to finish it off as well. Commiserations to the Brazilians. They've looked fantastic throughout their first ever major. They've made it to the grand final in three maps as well. It wasn't quite enough. But here they come. An unlikely final, but worthy of every round. What a performance from all 10 players. Everyone had their moments. Both of them in their first final. Zeus, it's his third, and he finally achieves it. The dream true. Incredible all the way, and hands well deserved, but it's the red star that rises. The second major of 2017, and the champions are Gambit. And what a way to do it, dropping only two maps. Beating Astralis, defending champions who knocked out SK, who were the favorites. And uh, again, Adren rised up in the playoffs. You said he was slow in the start of this yeah. game. He was, first map, he was nowhere to be seen. But then he immediately shows up on this map. Hobbit and him, I think, combined had over 50 kills. It's Hobbit all the way in that third map as well. They couldn't get going in the second half at all, but he found the clutches, and there they are. They've done it. Well, they're on stage with Scoots waiting for the moment, waiting for the trophy. He's standing by. All right, here they are, Gambit Esports. I'm gonna start with you, Adren. Hell of a match. It comes down to Inferno. It kind of comes down to you two guys closing down Banana in the start of it. Maybe the match of his life. How are you feeling? Uh, no words, sorry. I can't talk anymore, sorry. <laughs> That's all right. Guys, guys, I just wanna say that just believe your dream, follow your dream, and just work a lot. Thank you, guys. Thank you a lot. I have one more question. One more very, very, very important question for you. You tweeted, I will not give up till I win a mother beep in major. You just did that. Now what are you going to do? I just say, all of Meister, I love you. And second, God help me, and I won measure. Woo! There you have it. Gentlemen, take your trophy. Take it. There we have it then, the PGL Major Krakow comes to an end with the confetti raining down on Gambit Esports, the champions of this particular major. The first Ukrainian 
the first Russian and the first Kazakhstan players to win a major in CSGO history. Absolutely incredible scenes in the grand final. And didn't they do it the hard way after that first map? You had no idea that they would have that capacity in them to come back, Moses. That first map with how well they, they played moving forward. I mean, Hobbit, Adren, these guys were, were god tier on this map. This was incredible stuff from all of them. And yeah, this is that's a true champion performance because they were they were actually even on Inferno they looked down and out and it's kind of interesting that Inferno was actually what 1610 train was 1611 but it feels like Inferno was much much closer the amount of clutch rounds they had to fight through the amount of like really 